intersections are where all modes of transportation meet. Now, University of Florida researchers in the city of Gainesville are collaborating on a new project to improve roadway safety by studying high-risk intersections in order to make changes before accidents occur. The city and the University of Florida have received a grant from the National Science Foundation Smart Connected Communities Program to research ways to make intersections and roadways safer for pedestrians, bicyclists, and all modes of transportation. Researchers at the Herbert Wertheim College of Engineering, UF Transportation Institute, and the city's Department of Mobility will apply advanced video processing and artificial intelligence to produce predictive risk models not yet seen in the United States by focusing on near misses at intersections. We can calculate near misses, which will help us rank order the safety of even intersections which do not have a history of crashes. So it helps us to understand the safety problem a little bit more holistically, and the agencies can use this information to prioritize where they need to invest in terms of improvements. The city will provide a lot of access to their infrastructure, so we will have videos installed at the intersections. Uh, we will also have any other traffic metrics that they are collecting available to us. Using that information, we are able to collect things like were there any near misses on that intersection? Are pedestrians jaywalking on that intersection? The research will employ innovative technologies such as video cameras using edge computing to provide real-time data recording and processing. So our end goal is that we will be able to put those kind of processes at the intersection itself, collect the video, process it right there, only send that information to a central computer like a cloud, and then be able to process it there. To ensure privacy, only the data collected will be processed and saved. Individuals are not identified. We are only focusing on the trajectories which are relevant to understanding the safety of the intersections. Vision Zero is a national initiative aimed at reducing the number of accidents and fatalities to hopefully zero. In 2018, over 40,000 people in the U.S. lost their lives due to traffic accidents, and the city of Gainesville recorded over 1,800 accidents at intersections. The city is optimistic this research will allow it to meet its Vision Zero goal of reducing traffic injuries and deaths in half by 2025. One of the four planks of Vision Zero is, is the use of technology uh, and, and helping te technology inform design. And so through this National Science Foundation grant, uh, we're able to deploy and use technology, which will then help us understand the data better, which will help us design better systems and ultimately keep people safer and bring deaths and serious injuries down to zero. One of the goals of this project is to create solutions that can be replicated and low cost in order to help communities across the country address dangerous intersections and improve traffic patterns. Most of the software we develop is in the open source arena. People can reuse it at least for non-commercial purposes so that others can learn from whatever we uh, observe, we find. It is a fairly new area of research, uh, near misses as a metric of safety is emerging. The lack of data has been one of the big reasons why we have not uh, invested so much. With the advances in technology as well as in analytics, it is now possible to scale this up. The city and the university already have a strong history of working together on transportation safety issues. Our level of community engagement and the relationships that we have built over the past several years with the National Science Foundation really have given them the confidence that this partnership can produce intellectual merit that the rest of the country can benefit from. 